Welcome back everybody, this is VST here guys. I was able to get uh, Fallout 4 running on the Xiaomi 15 and running Fallout with Win later is not a big deal uh, unless of course you do have this Snapdragon 8 lit. Um, yeah, it's only possible because Bruno released uh, the Vortec Experimental GPU driver and I'm using indeed Win later 9 so I know that you can get far better performance but this is the state right now, you can see it's not perfect but this is what we get with the Snapdragon 8 delete and I think it's just amazing work. The Snapdragon 8 delete is like what two months and yeah we now have a way to run these beautiful games. And before I play the game I just want to show you what I've used, how I got it working. So this thing here is Bruno Dave 85 it's on GitHub, the win later repository version is 9.0 and you can see it's a very modest like other than new graphics driver Vortec Experimental guys so I got a win later running here and you can see this is indeed the version uh, 9.0 I set up a brand new container for Fallout 4 because with the other one I was able to run Mafia and GTA 5 but again there were some artifacts so let me just go back to my containers and show you the settings so if you do own a phone with the Snapdragon data lid and if you want to test some games like this with Win Later 9 and Vortec, this is what you can use. So I'm using this screen size like uh, 1280 by 720, 16 by 9. The graphics driver, very important, is the Vortex. So if you want to uh, use like the turnip, yeah, no luck still with the uh, Adelaide. So the only option we have right now is the Vortec. The DXC wrapper, very important, is the DXVK. Pay attention guys, this is not the latest version. If you want to go with 241, it's just gonna crash. I need to still test this, but 172 has been very stable. Show FPS sun configuration. I use the very same GPU that Eta Prime used in his uh, Fallout 4 video. I think it was like last year, but of course Snapdragon 8 Lite was not available then. But anyway, it's uh, 9800 GD. Very important, change the video memory size to four gigabytes, guys. Now go to advance. I'm using the Box 64 preset compatibility all right here on startup selection it's aggressive windows version 7 unlike gda i can use all the processor affinity and also for the 32-bit apps also something important guys when you go to win later and go to the settings i'm also not using the latest version of box 64 because if you try to update them you're going to see there are also some newer versions that this 03.2 works for me all right but before i start the game let me just start the container because again there are some settings to be tweaked so what i did guys i went inside the my documents and I manually created a fallout 4 folder inside I put the fallout 4 any and the four prefs from my PC the fallout 4 prefs any I took the one from either prime because apparently he tweeted to use low settings but I transferred here my own saves from my PC all right this is very important in case you just want to get your saves and I don't think that the game will actually start if you don't have this any files here so the fallout 4 any and the custom them any are for my PC and the Fallout 4 prefs any I taken from Ida Prime his video he put it there when you go inside a container go where your game is and then just select the Fallout 4 XA you can press with the two fingers and then create a shortcut it's going to actually place a shortcut directly here and then it's also going to create the shortcut here why is this cool because the moment you have the shortcut here you can also tweak the settings and from here I just go to advance and I've chosen here the force full screen Screen, but nevertheless it's not working for me this is my device it's the Xiaomi 15 Snapdragon 8 Elite nevertheless guys I am now gonna start win later and going to play the game a bit and see what is going to happen I've also connected my DualSense controller from my PS5 to the phone it's just better to just use a gamepad and now let's try to start the game and while we're starting let's also measure some base temps 37.0 this is actually not that high. I also don't know how to get rid of this, so it's actually running in a window. Anyway, it's not that big of a problem right now. I just want to see what the Snapdragon 8 lid is able to pull off. Now again, guys, this is a very experimental new driver. So most probably we are not getting the best performance. I hope that with more work and also with uh, Tourney for Adreno, this thing is gonna go really crazy. And of course you can play this game on Agent 3, Agent 2, Agent 1 and probably other phones as well. I mean, no doubts about it, they really got some nice support. If we go here in the display settings, there are not really a lot of things we can tweak because everything happens from uh, that any file. Okay guys, I am going to enter, I am in the beginning of the game, um, yeah, where I just learned and apparently there was a some kind of a blast 
could be like a nuclear explosion. I mean, you know the game, right? You don't need uh, me to remind you. The idea is just to walk around and see how much of a performance and what type of performance we're gonna get with this Snapdragon 8 lit and again with Vortex. So, you can see, I do display here the FPS. All right, I can run. All right, I just try to pump up the volume a bit. <laughs> yeah, as you can see, there are some artifacts. But nevertheless, it's still working, and I do believe that even with this experimental driver, guys, if you are able to fine-tune a bit more, maybe you're gonna get better FPS, but you can see, right, like, um, some texture issues are here. I also got the same texture issues on GTA. I've seen other people's videos, they don't have this issue, so it might be, again, something with Xiaomi, but it's most probably, yeah, something related to the Vortec driver. Again, I do believe this is just amazing work to allow us to, to even be here like two months after the release. All right, let's just see what I can do and let's play the game a bit. Something that I can do, I can probably just go here and go to my task manager and go on Fallout 4 and most probably try to put a bit, yeah, it's actually all the affinity cells there, so I don't think I have many options, bring it to front, all right. This is, by the way, inside, <laughs> inside is good, like 51 FPS and not a lot of bugs. All right, let's just see what Cosworth is gonna tell me. Cosworth, stay safe, buddy. Oh, the blast is, oh yeah, definitely got blasted. <laughs> Too late for me, yeah. Anyway, I just wanted to explore a bit. Let me just try to find the bunker. It's been a while I played Fallout 4, but it's just amazing that we are able to emulate Fallout 4 now with the win later 9, thanks to Bruno and Vortec. <laughs> All right. Okay, let's just follow the route there. I can jump, this is cool. Hey, where, where is my wife and the baby, man? Okay, it's here. All right, let's yeah, let, let's talk later. I just need to go to the bunker because, yeah, we know the explosion is just uh, almost there. Hey, hon, come on. I mean, we need to find a bunker. Where is this thing? Oh, all right. Oh, we have some nice people showing us around. And I guess we're here. All right. Oh, some neighbors. Hi, neighbors. Running weed laner nine. <laughs> Almost there. Almost Perfect. there, I know. Okay. Alright. Yeah, let's just see what happens. Both of you. We love you too. Oh my god. Mm. Oh the blast. Definitely the blast, guys. Mmm. Oh oh Not ideal. Oh yeah. Woo! No need to worry, folks. Let's just check some temps you by the way. Oh it's a 44.4 for me. Future. Hey, the doctor is like semi invisible, I guess. Nice powers, Doc. 42 FPS, by the way. You know, even being experimental, guys, I think it's just it's just great, right? What do you think? Let me know down below in the comments. Come on, Doc, just let put the suit I just want to go outside. Uh, and let's just try to measure some temps, Doc. 44 to 2, Doc. I mean, you're burning my Xiaomi, Doc. And you can see there are definitely some artifacts. See here, boom, lightning, no lightning. Boom, lightning, no lightning. Right. Heavy breathing. All right, it's time to check the temp again. 44.5, have mercy on my soul, please, and on my phone, man. And you can see I'm just pumping like crazy. <laughs> oh my god. Such a great game. Had so much fun playing it. Was it like 2015 now? It's gonna be like 10 years. Oh, what the? What the? Yep. Yep. City's coming, man. Oh. Yeah. Giant. Yeah. Roaches. Well, normally, <laughs> giant roaches, man, it's called radiation. Right. If you've been listening to Kraftwerk, you'll know it. Radioactivitatem. Let's check the temps again. 45.9 and my Xiaomi 15 is about to just explode. No, joking guys, by the way, you can check some of my other videos. 
this little beast can do like 51 celsius and then it's going to overhead and this is with 3d mark extreme stress testing and i was measuring the performance with perfect dog to just see how much what this baby burns it's actually a lot and you can check my videos there but okay let's focus on finding the exit please I finally made it guys off camera and yeah I was not recording I don't want this video to be like two hours but I hope that I was able to save the Heracli win later and I just hope everything is gonna go fine and yep yep if that's the case I'm going to be able to show you around this beautiful amazing stunning game from Bed Shadow Fallout 4 released 2015 I think in like almost 10 years and the amazing work by Bruno with Win Later 9 with the Vortec experimental GPU driver that allows us to run these games using our Android phones and this is just nuts guys um, a lot of people are asking me should I get the Adelaide for emulation if you want to play tomorrow right and today is by the way the 6th of January so if you want to play tomorrow emulate guys you might as well just be good with agent 1 or 2 uh, or probably agent 3 those phones and of course also other chipsets they do get very good support and they have a, like a lot of people working on this and the community is great this thing here is more like a proof of concept just to see you know where we are at yet and i am owning the xiaomi 15 since like one month i was not able to play anything until now so we have to appreciate the work by bruno that yeah he put in with later 9 and specifically with this experimental vortex driver because i'm now able to play the game so what is happening with the temperature guys yeah 44 to 2 so i would say it wasn't even like 45 at some point 46.7 if you want to check some other emulation i did everything with the xiaomi 15 ps2 emulation i played carvex i played Wuthering waves i played also genshin impact of course not emulated this phone was in water with ice this phone was outside at minus temps this phone was also inside the freezer so all kind of performance reviews because i just like small phones but also of course camera review and animations review hyper os review and of course some comparisons with other phones like the one plus 13 like the vivo x200 pro mini that i sadly don't have anymore it would have been good to like test the vortex on the uh, dimensity 9400 but nevertheless you can still go and check those videos this is such a beautiful open world guys and it's just amazing that we can play like almost 10 years old games on our android phones and yes it's not perfect by any means again it is possible and the fact that it's possible is just amazing itself and i just hope that in the next few weeks and months we're gonna get also other drivers and also probably even better support for vortex and who knows you know at the end uh, if the ADL is gonna be a good gaming machine because right now i think it's playable i mean just if you want to test it Mm, but you can see the performance is really not optimal but nevertheless the idea is that it's possible and that it runs and and by the way now that i'm outside i'm not even able to see a lot of bugs now these bugs these issues with the textures they just appear with some other characters like myself or let's say npcs but overall guys this is uh, what is possible today i really hope that you have enjoyed this video and again if you want to see a lot of the xiaomi 15 features and functionalities and performance and camera and what not covered then just go and watch some of my older videos thank you so much for spending your time here stay safe vst over bye, bye.